sin power n x dx. How to get it? You split into two parts. Integral of sin power n minus 1 x into sin x dx. As usual, let us use the triangular pattern sin power n minus 1 x n minus 1 into sin power n minus 2 x into cos x integral of sin x is minus cos x. What is the integral? Minus sin power n minus 1 x into cos x minus n minus 1 into integral of sin x power n minus 2 into cos square x. Why this has become plus? I think you know. In the formula it is minus and in the product another minus is also there. Okay, this is minus sin power n minus 1 x cos x plus n minus 1 into. Again cos square x can be had. 1 minus sin square x. Come on friends. This product is i n minus 2. This product is i n. Is it plus or minus? Minus. Minus n minus 1 into i n. If it comes here plus n minus 1 into i n. If you bring i n as common factor 1 plus n minus 1 is equal to minus sin power n minus 1 x into cos x plus n minus 1 into i n minus 2. Everybody knows n goes that side. What happens? i n is therefore equal to minus sin power n minus 1 x into cos x by n plus n minus 1 by n into i n minus 2. Okay, we could have used 2 to 3 steps of course. It is not difficult. We can have the answers by using the triangular technique or by, 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 by the speedy application of uh, uh, integration by parts we will be able to have. How far this is useful? How far this is useful? That you have to understand. It is very useful. What is sine integral part of, sorry, sorry, integral of sine cube x dx put n is equal to 3 minus sine square x cos x by 3 plus 2 by 3 into i1. What is i1? Integral of sine x is minus cos x. I like to have integral sine power 5x. For integral sin power 5x, you must be able to have integral sin cube x also. Why? Because put n is equal to 5 minus sin power 4x into cos x by 5 plus 4 by 5 into i3. What is i3? Integral sin cube x. So, step by step, step by step, you will be able to calculate. Integral of sin power 8x is required. Put n is equal to 8, then i6 is necessary. Again put n is equal to 6, then i4 is necessary. Again put n is equal to 4, then i2 is necessary. i2 is nothing but integral sin square x, 1 minus cos 2x by 2 you can write, x minus sin 2x by 2 whole divided by 2, that gives you i2. So, with that pattern only, we will be able to have integral of sin power n x. Just like this, you can produce integral cos power n x, integral tan power n x, etc. For integral cos power n x also, we split as cos power n minus 1 x into cos x, whereas in the case of tan power n x, we split into tan power n minus 2 x into tan square x. That we shall look at because there has been some change in the procedure. Well, as a teacher, I suggest you to remember this, but as a friend, I do not suggest you. It is not impossible to have these two or three steps on this part. You have this mould and apply to have the answer. Well, at this moment itself, let us now calculate 
the reduction formula for integral of tan power nx also. Integral of tan power nx. As we just could, re, could discuss with integral of tan power x, tan power nx must be split as this is somehow easy when compared to the previous uh, sin power nx and cos power nx. How? How can this become easy? Let us observe. This is therefore equal to integral tan power n minus 2 x into you can write tan square x as secant square x minus 1 am I correct? You can split into two parts integral of tan power n minus 2 x into secant square x dx minus i n minus 2. Is it is it correct? Is it suggestible? Surely why because tan power n minus 2x into 1 is tan power n minus 2x and its integral is just nothing but i n minus 2. Well, what about this? What is the fate of this part? It is also very happy situation it is. Take tan x as f of x. This is f dash dx dx. f of x whole power n minus 2 f dash dx dx. Answer is f of x whole power n minus 2 plus 1 that is minus i n minus 2. This is i n. Imagine how simple it is, how catchy it is. If you want to have integral tan power 4x, take n is equal to 4. Tan cube x by 3 minus i2. What is i2? Tan square x. What is tan square x? Second square x minus 1. Integral tan x minus x. Done. I want to have tan cube x. What is tan cube x? You have to put n is equal to 3. Tan square x by 2 minus 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 i1 what is i1 integral tan x what is integral tan x log mod second x i like to have integral tan power 5x what is that put n is equal to 5 what is if you put n is equal to 5 then tan power 4x by 4 minus i3 what is i3 integral tan cube x you may have to apply the same old formula again for n is equal to 3 you must there is no other go the very the very name itself indicates it is a, a reduction formula integral tan power 5x is to be obtained by reducing that 5 step by step you will arrive at the answer that is the very purpose of introducing a, a reduction formula okay for sin x and cos x similar procedure sin power n minus 1x into sin x cos power n minus 1x into cos x. For tan x, tan power n minus 2x into tan square x. For cot x also, cot power n minus 2x into cot square x. For secant power n x, absolutely in the similar fashion, secant power n minus 2x into secant square x. Right. You can, you will be able to have the reduction formula by using integration by parts itself. Well, next one. Observe the function. Both the first degree expression and the second degree expression, both of them lie in the denominator. Once uh, one expression, that is the second degree expression, is thrown inside the square root symbol and the first degree expression lies outside. Let me give you one example here integral of 1 by x into root of x square plus x plus 1. What do you do at this juncture? You take x is equal to 1 by t. That is the most suitable substitution. Instead of x, if you have some 2x plus 1 or 3x plus 2 like that, what do you do then? 
you take the entire first degree expression and substitute it as 1 by t. Then what happens? Do you want to see? Let's see. Like here. I take x is equal to 1 by t. dx is equal to minus 1 by t square dt. This is the integral. i is equal to integral of minus 1 by t square dt by 1 by t into root of 1 by t square plus 1 by t plus 1. It is equal to minus 1 by t square dt by 1 by t into root of 1 plus t plus t square. Root of t square is t. t into t, t square, t square, t square. Again, it has been thrown into the previous model 1 by root of x square plus bx plus c. That is, uh, you are supposed to use the, use the perfect squaring technology. t square plus t plus 1 is there. You consider the two terms t square plus t and add 1 by 4. That is, the coefficient of t is 1, half of it is half, whole square is 1 by 4. That 1 can be taken as 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4 and it takes the shape of root of x square plus a square and with the usual methodology it can be simplified. So, this is a beautiful model. If first degree expression and the second degree expression, if both of them lie in the denominator itself and the second degree expression is thrown inside the square root, we proceed in this way. Next one. Now, we shall switch over to deal with the models which look special. That is, you are supposed to get the proper and needy idea on this part itself according to the problem, nature of the problem. Well, you observe this question. Integral of root of 1 plus secant x. What do you suppose? If you take secant x is equal to t, then secant x plus tan x is dx is equal to dt. Oh, so many things will occur here. You think of, you treat a particular problem important when and only when you struggle to get an idea. Something is special. Okay, right. Let me try to simplify this in the form integral of root of 1 plus 1 by cos x. Therefore, this is root of 1 plus cos x by root cos x dx. Root cos x dx. Well, this is i. Let cos x is equal to t square. Then, minus sin x dx is 2t dt. Minus sin x is nothing but minus root of 1 minus cos square x that is 1 minus t power 4 dx is 2t dt. Therefore, dx is therefore minus 2t by root of 1 minus t power 4 dt. What about this? i is therefore equal to root of 1 plus t square by root cos x is t, root of t square, that is t into, in the place of dx, what should you write? Minus 2t by root of 1 minus t power 4 dt. t and t will be cancelled. So that the answer is, minus 2 into integral of root of 1 plus t square by by what is there in the denominator root of 1 minus t power 4. I would like to write this as root of 1 minus t square into root of 1 plus t square. Am I correct? This two will be cancelled. So that this is minus 2 into 1 by root of 1 minus t square is just nothing but sine inverse t. 
plus c. So, that this is minus 2 into sin inverse of what is t? Root cos x. This type of idea has saved us to get the answer, to get the answer as I could have written second x as 1 by cos x. Next, next problem. In order to retain that idea which has been used in the previous problem, I could have created this problem. You please try to understand. 1 by root of 1 plus secant square x. If at all it is 1 plus tan square x, it is nothing but root, root of 1 plus tan square x is secant x. 1 by secant x is cos x. Cos x integral of cos x is sin x. That is a one word answer. Now it is root of 1 plus secant square x. What do you do? This is integral of 1 by root of 1 plus 1 by cos square x dx. 1 plus 1 by cos square x dx. Okay. So, this is nothing but cos x dx by cos x dx by 1 plus cos square x, isn't it? You see in the, numer in the numerator we have cos x and in the denominator we have cos square x. Uh, it is not flexible for us. Uh, I, I would like to change this cos square x as 1 minus sin square x. cos x dx by 1 plus 1 minus sin square x dx. Automatically it is 2 minus sin square x. Everybody knows that we will be going to take sin x as t. If you take sin x as t then cos x dx becomes dt. So, it is dt by root of 2 minus t square where sin x is equal to t that is cos x dx is therefore equal to dt. Come on friend you recollect the formula in what shape it uh, what type of uh, form it could acquire 1 by root of a square minus x square. What is the answer sin inverse x by a that is sin inverse t by a a that is root 2 plus c. Here okay what is t? It is nothing but sin x. So, it is sin inverse of sin x by root plus c. I have quoted this problem because there, have, there has been a continuation of the idea. In the previous problem also we could have we could have written second x as 1 by cos x. Here also we could have taken second square x as 1 by cos square x. Yes.